then fashioned for him the folk of Geert's firm on the earth a funeral pile, and hung it with helmets and harness of war and breastplates bright, as the boon he asked, and they laid amid it the mighty chieftain, heroes mourning their master dear then on the hill at hugest of balefires the warriors wakened, wood smoke rose black over blaze, and blent was the roar of flame with weeping, the wind was still, till the fire had broken the frame of bones, hot at the heart, in heavy mood their misery moaned they, their master's death wailing her woe, the widow old, her hair upbound, for Beowulf's death sung in her sorrow, and said full off she dreaded the doleful days to come, death's now, and doom of battle, and shame. The smoke by the sky was devoured the folk of the wedders fashioned thereon the headland a barrow broad and high, by ocean farers far descried in ten days time their toil had raised it, the battle braves beacon round brands of the pyrea wall they built, the worthiest ever that wit could prompt in their wisest men they placed in the barrow that precious booty, the rounds and the rings they had reft her while, hardy heroes, from hoard in cave, trusting the ground with treasure of earls, gold in the earth, wherever at least useless to men as of yore it was then about that barrow the battle keen road, atheling born, a band of twelve, lament to make, to mourn their king, chant their dirge, and their chieftain honour, they praised his earlship, his acts of prowess were thilly witnessed, and well it is that men their master friend mightily lord, heartily love, when hence he goes from life in the body forlorn away. Thus made their mourning the men of Geatland, for their heroes passing his hearth companions quoth that of all the kings of earth, of men he was mildest and most beloved, to his kin the kindest, keenest for praise, 